Okay, Doke. So welcome everyone to uh, today's exciting session. And we're, it's all about the path today. And we're asking the question, what the ultimate goal swing path is for you. Uh, Pete, how would you describe and explain about the path for a golfer? What, what, why, why is the path so important? It's the path to better golf. That's what it is. And uh, there's so much confusion about this because logic would say that if you want to hit the golf ball straight, then the path should be down the line from the ball to the hole. But golf is a little bit not like that. It's uh, There's a different direction for the club head to travel on to make the ball go down that path. So uh, what we've really highlighted is that golf is two targets. The ball's target is down the target to the down the target line, whether to this pin here or over the trees. That's the ball's path. But the club head must travel on a different path on the downswing. And to do that, it's so important to get the club on the right path in the backswing. So the backswing path, the downswing path, and the follow through and finish. When you understand these path, the path of the golf club should travel on, it removes confusion and allows you to play uh, more natural golf. Absolutely, Pete. So let's have a look at the, the top three mistakes that a golfer would make when it comes to the swing path. Uh, probably the first one that would be made is the uh, the club straight back and straight through. Um, share with us, you know, why, why do golfers think of this idea? Well, uh, down here in Australia and, and uh, some places we play cricket, and of course it's a straight bat when you go down the wicket you're on, the, on the path to where the ball should go. But in golf, you're not trying to steer the club along this line. You could do it and you can get away with it with shorter shots to a degree, but it's really a, a false, it, it, it's just, it's not natural to do this. It, it, it's kind of steering the club along the line and invariably it creates tension and you, you can hurt yourself when you start swinging club for longer swings on try to do that. So it's not the way your body or the club should move to play good golf. Yeah, absolutely, Pete. Um, let's have a look at the second mistake that uh, golf was making, and that is the direction of the hit is not enough from A to B. So explain what A to B is and uh, the, what direction of hit is uh, uh, depending on which club you have. Right. Well, basically, if you put B as the ball, B for ball and B is the target, uh, a is the top of the backswing, wherever that may be. On a shorter shot, it might be here. A longer shot, club head's more over here. So the direction of the hit, the A to B line, is in line going down across court and down into the golf ball. So you're not trying to go down the target line from the top. We call it the hit line. When you drive the club with good hand action, controls the club shaft pass, club head pass, and as you fire that down, the body rotation won't allow it to continue, so you won't keep going out that way. You'll just come down and ultimately hit the ball square in the back, send the ball down there, and then the club will go around on the other side in balance. So this A to B line uh, really makes golf so much simpler when you can just throw the club head at that golf ball down in that direction, not out over the top, we'd say. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, if we look at the, the next common mistake, uh, that is golfers make the club move forward rather than pushing down. This is a big mistake because you can't compress the golf ball properly if you're moving the club forwards. What would we mean by moving it forwards? Well, forward or uh, there's another thing that people think they've got to lift the ball up in the air or they've got to chase it down the target line. So they're trying to move the club head in the direction the ball's traveling. And that really, one, puts strain on your body, but also tends to make you either sway or you really get uh, a lot of strain on your body when, when your body arches back. So the golf club, as it comes down on the correct path, once it's hit the golf ball, we say you run out of right arm, basically the pivot 
of the body should be allowed to come up and around to bring the club around to here. Much better balance to finish, but also no strain or little strain on your back. Very important if you want to play golf for a lifetime. Um, absolutely, very, very important. If we look at that uh, down the target line again, Pete, um, we're going to look yeah. at what is the problem of trying to go straight down the target line. And first thing we see is the club base remains open. And, uh, you know, going through the ball, it goes like this. Can't, yeah. can't yeah. release properly. Yeah, the, the club face, when you try to have the club head going down the target line, you also want the club face to stay on that line. So it, it tends to make them you, you either slice it or you certainly uh, are not going to hit it very far because you can't release the club head with maximum speed. Um, yeah, so second thing we look at is um, the it results in a slice as the hips are rotating. So I think what people misunderstand is they're trying to go straight down the target line, but the hips are actually rotating at quite a fast speed, which throws the club out and across the ball. Do you want to just share share that with share that with us? Right. Well, when you throw the club head in the correct direction, as you throw down, it's just like throwing a ball. If I threw a ball at the camera there, as I threw past, my 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 ball would go out there, but my body would go back here as a as a counterbalance. Oh, now golf, the golf swing is a throwing action. The down swing, you're throwing this club head at the ball. So as you throw it down, the faster you throw, the more your hips turn, and so it's that combination of the direction of throw with the body turn that squares the club to the ball's ultimate target and away you go. So maybe I just demonstrate that from this direction. All I'm doing is throwing the club head down at that golf ball. And while the club head was going down and out there, once it hit the golf ball, the release of the club head, the club face and the body brings everything up and around to a balanced finish here. So golf, it's a rotational game driven by the straight line throw. So it's kind of crazy. The more I throw the club head down at the ball that way, the more it turns my body and the golf, I turn in a barrel and it rotates. And then I hit the ball where I want it to go. Straight over that flag and up into the trees behind. So uh, the A to B line, that direction of throw, golf's a two target game and the path is super important. Now, uh, I'd like to mention, Chris, if it's okay, that the start of the swing is really a, a big factor in this. If you start in the wrong way, it's very difficult to swing on the right path on the back swing and the down swing. So what I've... Uh, come to realize is that if you take the club away with your hands first, it, be, it becomes either a steering effort or you tend to pick the club up and get it to the inside too soon. If you take it away with your arm and shoulders, the club gets too much to the inside too soon and then you're on the wrong path going back, which makes it either get stuck in here or you come out over the top. So to get that right path, it really requires that the hands work in a certain way. And that certain way has you pushing the left hand against the right. So that when you do push the left back against the right, the hip turn and shoulder turn kind of sling the club back on the right path. The, then the swinging club head does its job. The club head does, does its work and it swings you over on that inclined wheel so you can just go straight down and hit it. Okie dokie. So with that, uh, we'll, yeah. uh, we've got anything, any more to add to the path or is this, are we on the path to better golf, Chris? Um, yeah, so, so what happens is the, it may work for wedges going down that, down that line, you know, straight down, but obviously it doesn't work for the longer shots. But let's have a look at, um, 
why Ada B is an important swing thought when it comes to hitting the ball. Uh, first thing is Ada B, it's a very simple and effective thought. So Pete, just share with us why it's a simple and effective thought. Right, well, when I swing it back, and I, I, I basically I can feel the coil, my impulse is to make the club head and is to throw this club head at the ball. So just in the direction of the throw of the club head, it becomes very simple just to focus on driving the club head in that direction. The more you hit down and out into the golf ball, the more the ball will go up in the air and the more the pivot is triggered. So that correct direction of throw, really simple, causes a lot of actions to happen naturally. So the better I throw, the better I go. So I'm just going to swing over the top of the ball and you'll see the effect it has on the not just the hands, but the arms and the body and keeps me in balance. And I finish very easily around and through the golf ball. So there's very little strain on the body. And it's a really simple key thought. You've got permission to enjoy the hit, hit the ball. Okie dokie. Absolutely. It's very simple. So it also allows the club to be directly at the ball, resulting in a compressed ball. And the final thing it does is, is it's a positive energy, isn't it, Pete, without steering within the swing. A lot of people on the golf course have become very steery. That's a very positive energy without steering. It is. Yeah, you, you've got a very simple thought, hit that ball and enjoy the hit. That's, that's the important thing. Have fun. Not too uh, tense. Golf's a, good golf's easy. So just make it easy by making it a simple thought throw the club head at that golf ball. It's easy it does. Way up there into the hill. All right, that, that looked uh, pretty easy and pretty simple. Um, well, I, I hope you apply that out in the golf course this afternoon there, Steve. I know you're going out for a hit. And uh, I, I am. You know, it's something that anyone can apply. Um, we look forward to seeing you in the next session or joining us in the Breaking 80 program. And um, thanks for participating and enjoying this uh, um, little video on getting the swing path better in your swing. Yeah, look, and uh, if anyone likes yes. to come down here, we're, we're here at Eagle Ridge and uh, Mooner Links and great golf courses on the Mornington Peninsula. So come down and join us at any time. Where you're most welcome. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Pete, for your time. Thanks, everyone, for listening, and we look forward to seeing you uh, next time. Cheers. Thank you.